We are going jute hunting down in that ravine somewhere with this crew of geode hunters. We have Betty, Iz, Elmo Christensen, Jay Stevens, and Lester. These are wild blackberries just growing alongside the fence line. Cool, isn't it? This is a gold mine. See the geodes are just laying all over right here. Big one. Corn, probably I grain. Seen any corn through here? <laughs> yeah, right. You sure haven't, have you? So we'll just bring it close. Yeah. 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 Okay, the bridge locks in place. Now we got to get in trucking. David Clough owned this corner where this building here set. It's on the south west corner of Young Street and well. Okay, we're looking at Samuel Street and we're standing next to a fence. Uh, my great great grandfather, Levi North owned a quarter of a block here it would be to the what, uh, west of us and uh, south or in, in south it's it's going to be in this wooded area right here be behind me this wooded area is uh, now uh, owned by the church and they have a sawmill on it. historic well where King Follett was down in the well working and a bucket full of rocks uh, broke loose and fell on his head and, and killed him. And the prophet Joseph Smith gave a two hour sermon uh, at his funeral and we'll try and pick up that mill. Pretty hard to see anything through here but this is the sawmill that the church uses on occasion. And it's uh, setting pretty close to the start of the property owned by Levi North. Okay, here's a little better shot of the, the well that uh, King had fell into. And I'm sure this happened at the same time that Levi North owned the adjoining property to the north, which would be that area right down through there. Okay, uh, just to give you a little better idea of where we're at, we would be in the block just to the north, or just to the west of, of Levi North's property, but undoubtedly he had an excellent view of the river. This is a little boat dock that they've got along the river, and he would be in, up here in these uh, woods up in this area here but it would have been up on a knoll there's a ravine here and it'd be up on the knoll uh, right through this area where he probably had his home most of these trees are, are less than 150 years old so it is all grown in and it, all grown in and it's not uh, what it was at that time. I don't know if you can see it on the video or not, but there's just a little bit of a clearing upon this knoll, and uh, we're setting in a fairly deep ravine. But that knoll, I'm 
presuming would be where the house and uh, where their yard would have been. Okay, Dwayne's standing over there with his brick from what Levi Norris property sitting by the well of King Fall. Okay, we had to take this shot to, to get into the Ritter heritage into these, the, our family. There was quite a few Ritter names in the records back here. This is the most permanent sign we've seen of them. Though. Okay, David Clough one time owned this entire half a block starting on the White House you see down there in the far right. There's one, two, three, and four houses on this street. This is uh, on the north end of Warsaw and Knight Street. Okay, David Clough also owned this quarter section, which is this little patch of pasture, or lawn right here. Quarter section of this block here. This is on uh, between Wilcox, or on Wilcox and Young Street on the south. Okay, earlier I said that David Clough owned this corner where this building here is set. I find out now I'm on, on the wrong side of the street. He owns this little parking lot uh, here. And uh, then there's a, a little school sitting behind that. But then anyway, this lot right here also belonged to David Clough. Okay, here's another lot that was owned by David Clough. And this here is just above Levi North's place. I'll swing around here and show you the uh, King. Here is a old historic home that is being used as missionary housing. Uh, which would be Kitty Corner to the David Clough uh, Corner lot. Uh, I think he just owned several lots in town. I don't know which ones he lived in. I don't know who lives here. You can chase, trace out that license plate. CTR BYU. Okay, the final spot. Levi North owned a lot here somewhere in this plowed field area. And right over here we seen a doe on a fawn last night, eating next to the trees. But anyway, they, he had a lot somewhere on this plowed field. Now this is the Nauvoo Temple, just to show you how much it's come up. This is from the back end. I'll walk around and take a picture from where I took one when we first came. Okay, what they're going to have is a tunnel coming back here to the uh, far south or northwest corner of the temple and I think this is where the baptismal font might be going to be but anyway there's the tunnel here's the foundation for that and then of course here's the temple up here in Okay, this is the angle from, that I took the other day when we were here, and I was wrong. The basement uh, is going to be a furnace and, and shop and, and all that stuff. The, the baptismal font will be in the basement where it's always originally was. Oh, how you doing? 